Hello, I'm Max Smith, and this is my movie review to River Dogs. So here we go. Hi everyone, Max Smith back again for another movie review, and this one's about River Dogs. Okay. Here's the drill if you don't know. I did three parts. <coughs> part one, I was movie about. Part two, what I liked or didn't really care for the movie. And then my final thoughts. <coughs> okay, so this movie had Quentin Caratino in it. And basically it starts off <coughs> with a bunch of guys having lunch together. Then it goes <coughs> into where this guy gets out of jail has a meeting with uh, his old boss and his son and then they, they can't give him a job because of his probation and, you know, okay, well, we can come kind of slack and give him this job <coughs> so they hire all these people to steal all these diamonds basically and then they have the little backstories on all of them Mr. Orange, Mr. Pink and it kind of goes back and forth with flashbacks <coughs> flashbacks <clears throat> to each the background to all of our main characters and then the file scene you know which leads up to the file scene where <clears throat> it winds up in a three-way shootout and the cops come busting in and everything goes crazy at the end and uh, no one lives happily ever after so basically that's the gist of the movie part two um what it liked there's definitely good action scenes I mean, a lot of good acting and the, the intensity of the acting and the expressions and the fact that like, when he had to shoot the uh, woman, it's like, you know, because he had to act like he really belonged to that world, man, because the guy was undercover. He had to belong. Oh, I forgot to add that in the plot. <clears throat> but you had to act like he's undercover. The guy's like, you gotta know everything about that. Like, the other like, like, one's like, you gotta know everything about the toilet, the, the laboratory, the bother bathroom. You have to know about the shit that was on the smear. Like, you have to know about who's peeing where and what's every, you have to, every inch of that, man. You have to know. You have to be that character. You have to understand the game, man, if you go undercover. And then it's like, oh man, I feel, uh, I'm glad it's not me going undercover. And so the, the intensity of the movie was good, but it was very, also at the same time, very hard to follow. Like I said, I had a hard time come up with the plot. <clears throat> I mean, this movie was yeah, very, I mean, it's jumping back from the flashbacks about Mr. White and uh, who did it and stuff. And then, like, <clears throat> and then the psycho guy cutting off the ear and get burn the guy and going all crazy. And like, I'm going to torture you. And I'm going to like it. And there's like, Hey man, we're freaking set up. No, we're not. No, no, we're set up. Understand? Oh, you mean this cop? <clears throat> so, yeah. And then it's just so, really slow in a lot of places. I mean, really slow. So, that's pretty much uh, that. So, those are my final thoughts. Very hard to follow what the plot was. It really didn't seem to be much of a plot. As you can tell by my opening here, very hard to follow a movie. Half the time, you're like, what the heck is happening? But at the same time, very well done as far as the intensity of the scenes. Well, that's my two cents. I'm Max Smith, and I'm saying, until next time, thanks for watching, and this has been another <coughs> uh, movie review <coughs> for this YouTube for Cree Cinema Club. And can't wait to see the rest of you fellow Susan Clubbers have to say about this movie. Peace.